<laughs> the, tiny, the tiny screen. Uh, excellent. Through the, through the shit like Bane, I guess. Uh, some assembly required. Lessons from, oh, you gave me the full time. Thank you so much. Lessons from Lego, Connects, and Mario Kart. I promised a rant, which is a decently articulated, but not terribly well organized spurt of verbal anger. Um, like all of our dads, I'm not angry, just disappointed. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little angry. Anyway, uh, any Lego fans out there? I certainly am. I love building sets. I love building them by myself. I love building them with my kids. A while back, I came across this set. Um, and I built it with my daughter. And you're going to say, wait, that's not Lego. And you are right. By 2011, Lego's toy brick patent had expired, and other companies were free to make building block toys. This one is from K apostrophe next. It is called the Lego and Standard Cart Building Set. The first lesson, be careful naming things. They might ship your placeholder text. Hemingway would love this. You can cut 66% of the words. Anyway, Mario Kart. It was a very frustrating experience. We opened the wedge-shaped box, we poured the pieces out, we unfolded the instructions, and they were this. Mario's cart should come together in seven steps. If that feels like too few, that's because it is. Diffing between step to step is very confusing. There's a color change to indicate new parts, while going wherever, arrows are going wherever, and they lead us to building and unbuilding and correcting, and it's not the, it's not the cathartic uh, father-daughter experience. There's like repressed anger that's have to happen. Um, also weird, once it's built, you have to chop Mario in half because his <laughs> legs don't fit in the cart, all Darth Maul style. You mount the torso on the adapter, and then he drives the cart. Um, we've donated the legs to the metaverse, which gravely needs them. <laughs> Um, so the box calls attention to its pullback motor. What it says is, play with me. My box is a wedge. Take me off some sweet jumps. And that results in this. Um, my son picked it up, and he did exactly what it wanted it to do. And he played with it. Uh, once assembled, this toy did not withstand the play that it had requested. I did keep it, thinking it'd be a good, bad example. And so if that's bad, what's good? Uh, it's very useful to contrast a good example against a bad one. Who does this well? You already know. We, we, we're talking about Lego. So this is the Audi Sport Quattro. It lives on my desk when my son isn't playing with it. Even when he's rough with it, it comes back very usable. Uh, but it's not just structurally sound. Let's have a look at the supporting physical and digital assets that make this a joy to play with. Over here, this is a bill of materials. I can see everything that's supposed to be there. If I have what I need before I start, I'm all set. I notice pieces that are there that aren't supposed to be. If they've shipped extra ones, you can throw those out. Probably a security issue. Uh, even more bill of materials. Like, like these, this is what I need. What do the steps look like? Excellent. The requisite parts you're, for every step are detailed. For piece scale, you can measure the piece against the page to make sure that you've got the right one. If you're counting the studs, they're not hidden. And it's not just about what's in the box. The Audi Sport Quattro is a retired product. Uh, that's what the tiny red text says over there. Um, Lego keeps the instructions on the site anyway, even though, they, even though they don't sell it anymore. There's a reason the earlier Connects instructions were photos. That's because they don't exist on the internet. They're not selling it, it doesn't make them any money, they just throw it away. Don't do that. <laughs> so, one of these vehicles lives in shame, and the other one is continually upgraded. Uh, my son thought this one could use some fire, some pewers, it's wonderful now. So building these two vehicles reminded me a lot of working with many of the projects and products that I've encountered, some made by the very people in this room. Uh, my work often requires quickly familiarizing myself with these and other digital toys. What I'd like to ask you to do while thinking of Lego is to think of the missing steps. Don't just leave breadcrumbs for yourself or future versions of yourself or people from your project. Think of new users. Version those docs. The old stuff is still running out there. Make it extensible by others. Your kids want to play with it. Your friends want to play with it. Let them add things to it. This talk was just as much for me as it is for you. We don't need to be taught as much as we need to be reminded. Did you feel extremely seen or possibly even personally attacked? Let's do better together. It's not enough to make the parts fit together. You have to empower others to play. I'm Jeremy Tanner, Penguin on the Twitter, for however long that lasts.
Find me to talk Lego, infrastructure Lego, rally cars, patent law, or pizza.